It's a cold Tuesday morning in Philadelphia, and I'm feeling pretty cooped up. I think I need to get out of the house. When I'm feeling unmotivated, I like to check out junk shops. This one's pretty amazing. It's morning, so there are no people, and I can get lost in the sea of objects. Just scanning, waiting for something to jump out at me. Speaking of which, look at this thing. It's got two strings, and it says Kosova on the bottom. So as you can see, I bought the instrument. I got out of the store and discovered it was snowing. So let's go home and do some research. Okay, I'm back home. I searched for this thing using Google Lens. Apparently this instrument is called a Chiftali. It's a folk instrument that is common in Albania and Kosovo. Here's what it sounds like when it's being played well. Now that we know what it is, let's figure out how to tune it. According to its Wikipedia entry, it's usually tuned to B and E notes, which is the same as the top two strings on the guitar, so it should be pretty easy. One thing I learned from watching that video is you play the melody only on the top string. Then there's this other string that's a drone string, so you hit it every time. So no matter what you play, that note is going to be ringing out. I'm going to have to learn how to play this instrument. Luckily, there are hundreds of Chiftali videos on YouTube and TikTok. I watched a few, and the YouTube algorithm has already started recommending more to me. When you see them all up on the screen next to each other, you realize how similar the videos are. The vast majority of the players are men, the body of the instrument resting on their gut. Often in the video, the player's head will be just out of frame. And yet, despite these similarities, when you actually watch them, you realize how different the playing styles are between musicians. Probably my favorite thing that I've watched so far is this interview with a Chiftali maker. I don't speak Albanian, so I have no idea what he's saying, but he goes through the entire process of making the instrument. I was pretty surprised by some of the details. On a guitar or violin, the body of the instrument is basically a fancy box that's constructed out of bent wood. Chiftalis aren't made like that. They basically just take a large chunk of wood and carve into it. Anyway, now that I've had a chance to play it, I'm noticing something else about this instrument. Some of the notes are not what I would expect. Here's what it sounds like when I play a scale on this thing. For comparison, here's what happens if I play the same notes on the guitar. Let's play them at the same time so we can really hear it. So either I have the world's worst chiftily, or this thing uses a completely different tuning system. There are, of course, many different tuning systems used throughout the world. The technical term for the scale that most Western music is based on is the 12-tone equal temperament scale. It's what most guitars use, it's what the piano keyboard is based on, and basically it just means that one octave is split up into 12 steps and these steps are equally spaced. So those are our 12 notes. But here's the thing. Some of the notes on the chiftali are not on the piano keyboard. And if they did exist, they would be in between some of the keys. And while a few posts do mention that it has its own unique scale, I haven't found any source that names it. I've just posted a question on Reddit, and hopefully somebody who knows about the instrument will respond. In the meantime, I'm going to sample it so that composers all over the world can incorporate the sound of the chiftali into their music. Okay, I've sampled it now. Here's the sample library I made. I think it sounds really nice. When putting this library together, I tune the samples according to the 12-tone scale. So this works really well for the kind of music that most people make. The problem is, we've lost those magic in-between notes that are a huge part of the sound of this instrument. Of course, most pieces of audio software are designed to use the 12-tone equal temperament scale. Nowadays, it's by far the most widespread scale system. 
that being said, there's a whole world of composers out there who make music using other scales. In order to write music like this, composers make use of a feature set called microtonal tuning. And that's exactly the feature set that I need in order to be able to recreate the scale of the Chiftele. Now, right right now, Decent Sampler, the sampler I use pretty much exclusively at this point, doesn't support microtuning yet. Of course, I'm in something of a unique position here. I'm not only a samplist, I'm also the creator of Decent Sampler. In other words, if I want to add a feature, all I have to do is roll up my sleeves, do a bunch of research, and write some C++ code. So that is what I'm planning to do. Days have passed. I'm pleased to say that I've successfully added microtuning support to Decent Sampler. It supports scales in the Scala format. Those are available for free all over the internet. I'll include some links in the description to this video. Basically, all you have to do is drag one of those scales onto the Decent Sampler window, and now your notes will be all weird and wonky, as described in that scale file. I should warn you that microtonal composing can be quite the rabbit hole. There are people who start doing that and they just kind of like never return. Also, in the past three days, I found more information on the Chiftelis scale. It's actually a scale that comes from Turkey. Turkey has its own scale system and its own kind of music theory instead of having 12 notes per octave. In traditional Turkish music, the octave is split into 53 different intervals. What you're seeing on the screen right now is a listing of all of them. Anyway, one of the scales in that system is called Makam Husseini. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, but that's what the Chiftali seems to use. The countries that are now Albania and Kosovo used to be part of the Ottoman Empire which was based in what is now modern-day Turkey, so it actually makes total sense that some aspects of their musical tradition would be shared with Turkey. <laughs> now that there's support for microtuning and decent sampler, I've updated the Chiftali sample library. When you open it up, it asks you if you want the chromatic scale, that's the one most people will pick, or if you want that legit Chiftali sound, you can use the Albanian scale. This is what that sounds like. I've added in those B notes to kind of simulate the effect of that drone string. Of course, what I really want is to be able to write music like this. So this has been quite an adventure. A random little thrift store find caused me to learn a ton about Northern Albanian folk music, as well as the history of the Albanian people. And it directly led me to adding microtuning support to Decent Sampler. The Chiftali Sample Library is available for free. There's a link in the description to this video. Speaking of which, if you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if you could give me a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, I highly recommend it. I've got a lot of videos on the way. I want to thank the developers of Surge. If you don't know what that is, it's a fantastic freeware synthesizer plugin that also supports microtuning. It's what's on the screen right now. The Surge development team invited me to their Discord and were extremely kind with advice, code, and testing of the microtuning functionality, so it definitely would not have happened without their help. If you like what I'm doing with either Decent Sampler or with these videos, a great way to support is by joining the Patreon. It's $5 a month and you get an exclusive sample library every month. Okay, I think that's it. Enjoy! Enjoy!